Hi. Just a little help for those people that are having trouble picking the correct URL to update their TLEs from. If we go over here to the TLE file, right here where it says source URL, I want you to make sure that you have the one that says CSN bear. You can either scroll over and look and check it out. If you have that, then you're good to go. If you don't have it, delete everything that's there and either pick from the drop down or paste the link from the bottom of this into your URL source. Then come over here and hit update your TLEs. On your SAT box itself, it should be letting you know that your TLEs are being updated. Once your TLEs are updated, you'll get a message, however many SATs were loaded. Then what I need you to do is come over here. If you have things saved in your radio file, like you made some changes or have RIT offset set, click here for the internet update and that will update your radio uh, frequencies for each transponder. That is the easiest and the best way to update your TLEs. This choose file is for our more advanced users that may get preliminary TLEs that they wanna upload on their own. Um, but for 90% of our users to update your TLEs, you click on this button here, update your radio internet database, um, your frequency database, internet update. This one right here will reset everything back to factory defaults. So if you made any changes to any of your uh, transponders, it will uh, reflect here. Last but not least, always go to the About tab. See if it says Check for Updates here. Check your change log to see what the upcoming updates are and if you would like to do them. And then simply by clicking on this check for update, it will update your SAT device. Hopefully that clears up some of the confusion. Uh, we tried to make it very easy and simple to do your updates, no um, editing of files or anything. So thanks for watching.